This is part 48 of Blazor tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss cascading values and parameters. One way to pass data from a parent component to a child component is by using component parameters. We discussed component parameters in detail in part 27 of this video series. Now, a Blazor application is a set of components. We create individual components and put them together to create a working Blazor application. Components can also be nested. A component can be nested in another component. That component can be nested in yet another component and this can go on. However, when there are several component layers in the component hierarchy, it's tedious to pass data from an ancestor component to a descendant component using component parameters. This is when we use cascading values and parameters. They provide a convenient way for an ancestor component to pass a value to all of its descendant components. Let's understand this with an example. We have three components here child component nested within the parent component and grandchild component nested within the child component. In the interest of time, I've already created these three components. First, the parent component. The URL to reach this component is slash PC for parent component. And then we have an H1 element displaying this text. And then finally, this public property style, which basically sets font color to red. And then we have child component and this is pretty straightforward. All it does is displace this text using an H1 element and grandchild component is also very similar. An H1 element which displays this text. Now we want to nest child component within parent component. For that, we use the child component name as an HTML tag within the parent component. Let's do that just below this H1 element. Along the same lines, we want to nest grandchild component within the child component. So the idea is the same. We use the grandchild component name as an HTML tag within the child component. At the moment, we are on the home page. Let's navigate to slash PC to get to the parent component. PC, the parent, child and grandchild component text as expected. Now, here is what we want to do. In the parent component, we have a public property style, which basically sets font color to red. Now we want to apply the style to all the H1 elements in the three components. At the moment, the style property is defined in the parent component. So applying it on this H1 element is straightforward. We simply set the style attribute and the value for this is the style property. Now to use this style in child, and grandchild components, we have to pass the value to the respective components. One way to do this is by using component parameters, but it becomes a bit tedious to use component parameters, especially when we have several layers in the component hierarchy. A better way to do this is by using cascading values and parameters. To use cascading values, Blazor comes with a built-in component called cascading value. From the parent component, we want to pass this style property value to the child component. That is the reason we wrapped the child component with the built-in cascading value component. And on this component, we have value attribute using which we pass this style property value. So the style property value is now cascaded down the component tree. This means it's available to both child and grandchild components. Accessing cascading value is straightforward. From the child component where we need to access the cascading value, we create a property. And by the way, the important point here is the type of this property must match with the type of the property we have in the parent component. So in the parent component, style property type is string. So in the child component, the property type has to be string because the values are mapped by type. We'll discuss more about this in our next video when we discuss multiple cascading parameters. And we can name the property anything we want. I'm going to name it element style. For this property to be able to receive the cascading value from the parent component, we decorate it with cascading parameter attribute. So with this, the value that is the style property value from the parent component is mapped to this element style property in the child component. And remember, this mapping is done by the property data type. So the types must match, otherwise it won't work. And we can use this element style on this H1 element. So style equals element style. 
Let's save all our changes and take a look at the browser. There we go. Both parent and child component text is in red as expected. But the grandchild component text is not in red. That's because the grandchild component is not using the cascading value. To access the cascading value from this grandchild component, same idea. We create a property. The name can be anything, but the type has to match with the type in the parent component and decorate it with the cascading parameter attribute. And then we can use this cascading value anywhere within this component. Let's use it on this H1 element. Save our changes and take a look at the browser. There we go. Even the grandchild component text is red. In our next video, we'll discuss multiple cascading parameters. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening. Thank you.